So we'll work our way through these folds and then once we get to the hole punches, we'll start working our way backwards to figure out where they end up. So starting with fold one, we have a vertical plane and we're folding this left panel of paper over that vertical plane to this panel right here. In fold two, we have a diagonal plane and we're folding this triangular piece in the bottom right corner up into this triangle right here. In fold three, we have another diagonal plane from corner to corner and we're folding up to the right. So this triangular piece down here in fold two is being folded up into this triangle and we have two hole punches right here in pink. So if you draw those on the previous folds, you can see that they always end up on paper. So we can draw both of those right away here in our grid. Now we'll work our way backwards. So when we undo fold three, let's figure out which piece of paper was initially folded up. So if you draw that same diagonal plane from fold three right here in fold two, this triangular piece in blue is what was folded up right here in fold three. And that blue triangular piece that was folded includes both of these hole punches. So both of them have to be reflected back over that diagonal plane. So this hole punch exists on that diagonal folding plane. So we'll just be filling in the other half of it. And this hole punch will be reflected over to end up right here. And if you draw that same diagonal plane from fold three right here in our grid, this hole punch exists on that plane, so you'd just be filling in that other half, and this pink hole punch would be reflected over to end up right here. And this blue hole punch is in that bottom row in the second column, so you can see that if we draw it on fold two and fold one, it always ends up on paper, so you know it exists here in our grid. So now moving on to fold two, when you undo that fold, this blue triangle now has to be folded back down, and that includes all three of those hole punches, so all of them have to be reflected over that diagonal plane. So we'll just draw that diagonal plane here in our grid. This blue hole punch and this pink hole punch exist on the plane, so you're just filling in that other half. And this pink hole punch needs to be reflected over that plane to end up right here. And now that green hole punch in the bottom right corner ends up on paper here in fold one, so you know it exists in our grid. And lastly, we need to undo fold one. So when we undo that fold, the panel of paper that was folded over from the left exists right here, and that includes both of those hole punches, so both of them need to be reflected over that vertical plane, so this pink one would end up right here, and that blue one would end up right here. We can draw that same plane here in our grid, and this pink hole punch would end up right here, and that blue hole punch ends up right here. So that's our final pattern of hole punches, and that matches up with answer choice C, so C is the correct answer.